Shortly, we will welcome General the Lord Richards to Horse Guards Parade. As he approaches the saluting dais, would you please stand if you are able and to remain standing as the bands play a general salute to mark the beginning of our military musical spectacular. Gentlemen, please be seated. My Lord, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the House of Division, a very warm welcome to Horse Guards Parade for Celebration, a military musical spectacular. It is wonderful for the first time at this event to have the magnificent sight of the drum horse and mounted trumpets of the Household Cavalry Band joining the mass bands in our opening performance. Fest music to Stat V.
As they leave the arena, would you please show your appreciation for our mounted musicians from the band of the household Puppet. Following the stirring sounds of Richard Strauss, we turn our attention to the more traditional military marching music. For centuries, our British heritage has included the world-famous bands of the Household Division, using the music of such great composers as Kenneth Alford to musically support ceremonial events here in the capital and around the world. In 1904, some 120 years ago this summer, Alford entered the Royal Military School of Music in Nella Hall and created some music that is played to this day around the world. To join together the past and the present, the bands now perform Alford's Great Little Army and by land and sea, followed by a new work composed for the King's Birthday Parade this year from the pen of one of the musicians marching on parade this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the bands of the Household Division.
we bid farewell to the mass bands of the Guards Division, you will have noticed that we have been joined by the glorious sight of the Pipes and Drums. Fan from the Irish Guards and the London Scottish Pipes and Drums, the swirl of the fantastic sound of the pipes return to Horse Guards Parade under the direction of Pipe Major Jim McLucas. Ladies and gentlemen, our mass pipes and drums. <laughs>
6th of June, 1944, thousands of soldiers from Britain and the Allied forces landed on the beaches of Normandy, embarking on the largest scale seaborne invasion in history. The Normandy landings began the liberation of France and the rest of Western Europe and laid the foundations of the Allied victory on the Western Front. One particular soldier who landed on Sword Beach that day was Lord Lovett's Piper, Bill Millen, of the Cameron Highlanders. Millen leapt from his boat and played Highland Laddie to rally his fellow troops into battle. Another musician who landed on Gold Beach was Albert Kelly of the Dragoon Guards. From his memories of the landings, he composed the Quick March, Aramanche. Joined by other Allied forces and simulated this evening by the arrival of the mass bands, both Millen and Kelly embarked on one of the greatest ever liberations in history. 2024 also marks 150 years since the birth of two highly influential characters and renowned personalities, composer Gustav Holst and Sir Winston Churchill. We pay tribute to them all this evening and to mark the anniversary of the Day Library. We will always remember. <laughs>
after the Second World War, King George VI decreed that following the mechanisation of the last batteries of horse-drawn artillery, a troop of horse artillery should be retained to participate in state ceremonial occasions. On the 17th of April 1946, a six-gun Royal Horse Artillery Battery was formed. The King declared that this riding troop should be known as the King's Troop, amending the page on the visitor's book by striking out the word riding and inserting kings. Queen Elizabeth II declared during her reign that the title, the King's Troop, would remain in honour of her father. The King's Troop is still used today to mark the grand occasions of state. Ladies and gentlemen, making a welcome return to Horse Guards following their explosive arrival last year, would you please welcome the musical drive of the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery.
the sound of the King's Troop hooves disappear into the distance. Who can ever forget the London Olympics of 2012 when our equestrian team topped the medal table in Greenwich on a glorious summer for British sport. Whilst we are almost ready for the 33rd Olympiad in Paris in 10 short days, this evening we remember in music Torval and Dean 40 years ago this year, if you can believe it, when they boleroed their way across the ice in Sarajevo. But Olympic success is not the only triumph in our sporting history. We are about to take you on a journey of themes and memories of programmes past and present as we celebrate great British sporting occasions.
something completely different. We have celebrated marching music, sporting success, and remembered our fallen this evening. But now turn our focus to music that is not normally associated with military bands, unless you have been to our musical spectacular in the past. Britannia Rocks will celebrate our greatest, from Queen to Muse, Coldplay to Brian Johnson of ACDC, Bonnie Tyler and David Bowie. Prepare to be thunderstruck whilst holding out for a hero, be a star man on Radio Gaga, and relive your youth and get your teenage kicks with the Knights of Sidonia. <coughs> Listen to Jerusalem bells a ringing, with Roman cavalry choirs a singing. Hold out for a hero who is strong and fast and definitely fresh from the fight. Let's go goo goo at Radio Gaga. If you don't know your lyrics, then that will mean nothing to you whatsoever. <laughs> but let's all celebrate great British music with Britannia Rocks.
with all of our musicians now mustered, a moment of reflection, as is customary in the armed forces at the close of day. We remind ourselves of those who have gone before and those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Lead Kindly Light is a heartfelt prayer imploring light at time of sadness, and this evening incorporates the last post. Please do remain seated for this performance. Tonight we remember those who landed in Normandy 80 years ago and those musical colleagues in the Guards Chapel, just a short walk from here, who perished during the Sunday service of June 1944.
Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand, if you are able, for the national anthem. tradition, the senior drum major of the Guards Division Warren Officer Class 2 Guard of the Chambers of the Irish Guards will now seek permission from the Major General commanding the Household Division to march the bands off parade. I do hope that you've enjoyed meeting us this evening as we have certainly enjoyed meeting you at this military musical spectacular. Shortly we will bid farewell to the musicians. They will march away firstly to Scotland the Brave and Black Bear and finally to that most appropriate of tunes for this occasion when the guards are on parade. Before you depart, please do make sure that you have all your possessions with you. Thank you for supporting us. All proceeds from tonight's performance will be devoted to the work of the Household Division Charity. If you would like to make a further donation, please speak to the uniformed stewards as you depart, who will be more than happy to accept a contribution. Contactless machines are, of course, available. <laughs> Have a very, very safe journey home, and we look forward to meeting you all again very soon. Good night.
Thank you.